Now, if they ask you cyclones, if they ask you climate extreme events or the climatic disturbances, which is typically hurricanes ke baare mein, your answer must be around four or five things. Any question on tropical cyclones, temperate cyclones, anything on the disruptions, specifically storms, specifically hurricanes, agar puchenge aapko, three, four, four, five things should be obvious the answer. Please talk about the origin. Dynamic origin, is it thermal origin, is the origin related to air masses, is it because of intense heating, talk about that. Then talk about the areas or the regions of the world. Talk about the origin, talk about the, the region, area, where, and wherever possible, some local names. Talk about the weather associated. Or is na stages invariably ajayga. None of these extreme events, they are random. They are part of some stages. So tropical cyclone ho, temperate cyclone ho, weather hurricanes, talk about thunderstorms. They're all about, they'll have some stages. And then with case study and examples, do talk about forecasting and impact of such events. Or conclusion may take it towards global warming, and increased intensity. Now, this is the additional part I am suggesting to all of you. Have some case study. Just say, India ke case mein agar case study hai, talk about funny that was very bad last year. Absolutely, you can use. Nisarga, a very unusual one. Nisarga in the Arabian Sea. Please talk about that. Agar US ki baat karo, ya hurricanes of US. Dorian, you can talk about that. And Australia, Willy Willy, Debbie, yes. So with some examples of this kind, and do talk about the global warming and climate change are increasing the frequency of cyclones and hurricanes. So could be discussion hoga cyclone pay. This is the format of your answer. Talk about the origin mechanism. And it's possible that they ask you very specifically. Abaku question puchenge. Discuss, discuss the development and the tracking of cyclone Amphan. This could be a question. So Amphan, a major uh, super cyclone, eventually it was downgraded and called as a severe and very severe cyclone. Aapko wind speeds yaad hai Amphan ka? It was wind speeds around 220 to 40 kilometers an hour. An example of an extreme event related to disruptions in the ocean temperatures and climatic patterns. You can have a diagram here. In the diagram, so it developed somewhere, like initially somewhere here, north of Andaman. It developed the center here, north of Andaman. Then it had a track towards West Bengal and the landfall was near, I think, Digha and uh, Chobis North and South Chobis Pargana. Landfall was near Digha, North and South Chobis Pargana district near the Mount of Hooghly. So this could be named as track of Amphan, track of Amphan moving into West Bengal. Then you talk about, remember that list, origin. So it is typically a tropical severe cyclone associated with warming of the ocean or the sea waters. But Amphan was unusual. It developed during the month of May and very similar to what happened for Funny in 2019. Funny Cyclone V was in month of May and this is pre-monsoons. This is very unusual. The speed with which 
it intensified. It intensified in less than six days from a weak depression into a very severe cyclone. In less, it is very unusual. It is so fast move. Karta hai. This was about the origin. Then you talk about the weather associated. So a typical tropical cyclone, cumulonimbus clouds, very, very heavy rains. The rain was more than 10 meters in less than 48 hours. And the wind speeds, of course, you know how it has changed, weather patterns. And then you can mention that the stages, because the boss severe, the stages was not as distinct. One important point in the weather is that unlike a tropical cyclone that dies off in about one to two hours after hitting the coast, it took almost 24 hours and it actually weakened after 48 hours. So 24 hours, tak, it was severe. Of 48 hours, ke baad mein it had weakened. So this also caused massive destruction. Okay. So what is the origin? What's the location? What's the weather associated with it? Because I'm going by the format I suggested here. Talk about the origin, talk about the location, and talk about the weather associated. And this question is already about a case study. So you don't have to add much on this. Directly go towards the conclusion. So conclusion, mein, National Cyclone Disaster Management, talk about the evacuation. You can talk about impact. Almost one third of the Sundarbans has been flattened. In fact, uh, uh, southern Chobi Spargana, more than 50% got submerged. Climate change induced migrations. So, conclusion may, in the requires probably is to uh, develop and strengthen tropical cyclones disaster prediction. So, maybe along with the other uh, SARC countries, Haskar, in collaboration with Bangladesh, in collaboration with Sri Lanka, in collaboration with Maldives, SARC plus, you can talk about Myanmar and Thailand. You know about the Odisha model of evacuation and from shelter homes. Talk about that also. So, yes, some answers mein, na? for current affairs, forecasting, disaster management may wind up the answer. Okay? Achha, now, Another type of a question that they repeatedly ask in this is, they ask you compare and contrast tropical and temperate cyclones. Now, in compare contrast type of questions, one of the mistakes students do is, or one of the uh, modifications you can have in your answer is, compare contrast answers should not entirely be written as a table. Ye pure answer ko ek table form mein likh mat dena. Left and right compare karke you are done. Don't do that. Comparison has to be thematic. Plus some discussions you can put those in the tables. Jaise ki for example introduction mein maybe some facts some specific data some quick info aap ye dal dena table mein. Whereas jo discussions hain on origin, discussions on the stages, discussions on the weather aspects. Keep this in paragraph form. So it's a mix. So look at this answer now. So look at this. So your introduction, it says temperate cyclones, uh, wave or extra tropical are a type of storm systems of middle and high latitudes. Tropical cyclones are irregular, non-uniform cyclones between tropics. Ab uthaya inhone origin. How is temperate cyclone developed? Dynamically induced. Rossby waves, cold core systems, baroclinic theory. Put a diagram. And tropical cyclones are because of direct heating of water in summers, low pressure systems. So one small paragraph, you are done. So you have compared them. Mechanism and the weather associated. 
So temperate cyclones, two air masses interact in six stages, starting from development to elimination of the front occlusion. Diagram I told you through comparison. The weather is mild, overcast sky initially, followed by moderate to heavy rainfall. Okay. Whereas tropical cyclones are thermally induced, calm eye region. There's a downdraft region, eye wall region. It's a keywords used kya hua hai. Overcast sky, and you have a diagram here. The diagram gives you the parts of the cyclone: outer peripheral, the downdraft zone, the inner cyclone, the eye eye wall. You can add here and so on. Then in one paragraph, the distribution, tracking, and influence. So temperate cyclones, kahan par hain? Northern U.S., Canada, European countries, Baltic Sea. In the winters, mild weather, but some disasters also. Tropical cyclones, southwestern Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico, China, Madagascar, India. Examples like you know, you can give some recent ones for examples here. A diagram may we have put temperate cyclones. India may western disturbances hain. India may they impact both the coasts and now look at this one. Now this example of some quick facts put into a table. You could have put this table. Shayad shuruat mein aakar likhna hai. But here the person decided I'll put it towards the end. That's fine. This was probably 10 or 15 mark ka question tha. Approximately two and half page mein the amount of content compressed. You must learn that shape, size. Frequency, temperature variations, path, surface of origin. So basic facts we have put in a table. ठीक है? This is one theme. ये एक theme है. Distribution tracking. Weather type is one theme. Origin is one theme. And the basic points we can put on a table also, so that you have a quick comparison of some of the discussion elements. Have a fair idea now. And the question was: Give a comparative account of tropical cyclones and temperate cyclones. Take look. This is the first page. And remember, the writer also leaves my margins. Left me margin hai, right me margin hai. You have margin on the top. So the effective space hai. You are using that in your answers. So, but as the answers ko na chupcha copy kar lete hain, and then you try to modify what you can. First page, the second, and less than half of the third one. Now look at this answer. Give a come the same question. Okay, the same person writes, but now see this is different. The key you start off with the word go. The key differences between tropical cyclones and temperate cyclones can be shown as under the following heads. Origin: Temperate cyclones are dynamic. Tropical cyclones because of tight heating. The two diagrams here: shape and size. Temperate cyclones like are elliptical, near circular, size of approximately 100 km radius. Whereas temperate tropical cyclones, you can show this in terms of two diagrams here: shape and size. The next page. यहाँ पर differences को डाल दिया गया in a short table much earlier. All the facts, mechanisms, tracking, and the answerings. This is a case study on funny cyclone. Discuss the mechanism and the theory of tropical cyclone. Also discuss the development of funny. So funny, na puche, shayad am fun puch de. Look at this answer. And remember what we are doing. We have margins. Ye baat important hai. Get used to writing on the with margins. Right hand margin, left hand margin, top margin, bottom margin. You know the exact space in which you must write down. You start with what are tropical cyclones, warm core cyclones, vortex, intense low pressure, thunderstorms be here, wind speeds be here, conditions for the formation. Look at this, so very nice. A yeah, very small box may you have got five points. Okay, source of latent heat, SST more than seven, Coriolis force, diverging winds, aloft, weak wind shear, a uh, quick quick. Small diagram of the cyclone structure and the location. So, acid diagrams, banana, but a muskil hai. Why? Because you must have a very clean hand to pack so much things into a small diagram. This is an example. If you practice, you can get a hang of this. Not everybody can do this. And then look at the mechanism of tropical cyclones. Mechanism of tropical cyclone formation. 
So in half a page, unlike temperate cyclones, which has a definite life cycle and a stage-based development, tropical cyclones are much more intense systems, not as predictable systems, but their formations can be understood as a starting engine, filling the system, a final cyclone. It is not typically the way a temperate cyclone develops. Initial low pressure, intensification of the low pressure, development of the proper cyclone, and then its ultimate decline and death when it hits the land. So now we move on towards the development of funny. So funny originated as a tropical depression that formed west of Sumatra, strongest point, okay, moved towards coast since Fairy in 2013, extremely serious cyclone storm. What makes funny unique? The path, the intensity, and what happened post landfall. It continued to move towards West Bengal and Bangladesh. Then some facts around funny. Odisha mein kab hua, kitne people impacted. And this is an example of a case study in a small box. How many deaths were recorded, what impact, which part of Odisha. And the conclusion towards India's cyclone mitigation efforts over the years. It was a lamba hai. I would have wanted this to be shorter. So India has developed its early warning systems. Okay, we have state level disaster funds, early evacuation. India's effort has been hailed un under United Nations proclamations also. And a conclusion, maybe you can shorten the uniqueness of funny into maybe just two diagrams rather than three, three diagrams. The A diagram hai aapka, this one here on the third page. You can think about not having this diagram. 